Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you all doing well today. I'm here again to share with you another beautiful recipe, which is everybody's favorite. I mean, who doesn't like rice? Come on. So on my YouTube channel, as you've seen, I have different rice dishes. So today I'll be making um, berry rice. So this is the berries that I will be using and uh, it's usually per Persians that are a fan of this and I've tried it once and I loved it so let, I'm going to be making it's very simple rice very beautiful and very tasty a um, little bit twist to my own so when I say a little bit twist to my own obviously I love my rice with spices and fragrance and so on so <clears throat> This is the all the spices that I will be using. Onion, obviously, garlic, black pepper, clove, cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaf. All these give nice fragrance to your rice. Like, literally, unless I'm making uh, plain white rice, I always add these ingredients here. Uh, obviously, my rice has been soaking for the past less than an hour i'm going to leave it for another hour around an hour two hours of soaking it's fine i have here oil maggi uh, berries butter um food coloring i'll be using yellow food coloring here and here i have a bit of water and two pieces of lamb like hardly any meat on it just uh, just want the stock from the lamb so just two pieces of uh, lamb with bone a bit of fat on it so heat on once it starts to boil I'm going to add all these in here so it all cooks together I'm trying to get that white plain rice but at the same time uh, I want all these fragrance from these spices at the same time I don't want them to see on my rice when it's cooked so I'm going to cook all this in the stock and then drain it and then just take the stock and then cook the rice inshallah so stay tuned and I will show you step by step meat has come to boil and now I'm going to add everything in there the onions garlic all the, all the spices all the spices go in because I want every juice out of it into this stock and I'm also going to add a bit of vegetable seasoning maggi and the, this cook on a medium heat uh, for about half an hour 40 minutes or so so guys as you can see this has been cooking uh, for about an hour now I'm going to get ready with my rice here I have my pan, to that I'm going to add oil. Now what I'm going to do is sieve the stock. As I told you, I don't want any of these in the rice. All I want is the stock clear as it gets. That's it. That's my stock ready to cook the rice. The rice has been soaking for the past uh, two hours as you can see it's looking beautiful just soak in warm water and leave it at least one hour two hours and it should look like this um, uh, if you're using obviously long grain rice if you are using other types of rice it might need less time soaking because this is a long grain it needs more time to soak in the in warm water and it's as you can see it's beautiful it's really beautiful and it works really well any any type of rice you might be making so this is ready my stock is ready i have my oil here in the pan all i'm going to do is add the stock going to add salt and a bit of hot water uh, 
I'm just ready. I'm just going to add the rice. Add all the rice in. And mix that in. How are you going to measure the rice and the and the water, the stock are equal. It, this, this is how I do it. My water or my stock it's it's exactly where the rice is and it's on a high heat at the moment. So I'm going to let obviously at this point taste the seasoning of it and then that's it. I'm just going to cover and let it cook for about 10 minutes on a high heat and then come back just give a quick mix and lower the heat as always whenever you're making rice unless you want mushy rice always level the water and the rice exactly the same way um, and there's also one thing if you add too much water from the beginning you can't take it out so it's important to take your time with water or the stock and add it bit by bit as you go along rather than adding all at once meanwhile I'm going to get started with the berberry adding butter in a saucepan or a pan this is the berberry you can buy it from any um, Persian or Arab uh, Middle Eastern um, shops and it's quite it's got nice lemony taste to it goes really well with the rice so just melt this butter then add the berry barberry and just saute that it's got beautiful color to it as well and just a sprinkle with a little bit of sugar It's simple as that. It's ready to be topped on the rice later when serving. That's it. All ready. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now. Let's just give that a quick mix. As you can see, the water has reduced. So now I'm going to lower medium to low on the heat and then just leave it on for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's um, after about 20 minutes just to lower the heat to low the, the lowest and just let it steam by itself and um, it should be cooked thoroughly. So it's been about 40 minutes about after about 20 minutes I lowered the heat and as you can see the rice is now cooked to perfection see. so all I'm going to do is take a little bit of this rice and use food coloring and then top it on the rice later on when I plate it up So I've plated the rice up as you can see and then top the colored bits on top of the rice beautifully cooked smells amazing and then finally we're going to top the Burberry look how beautiful that is like honestly looks amazing amazing so yeah there you go that's done rice done and you can serve it with piece of chicken some meat kebab whatever you guys fancy so i hope you enjoyed today's recipe very easy i just wanted to take this video to show you exactly how to make a very simple rice and yet so elegant looking and 
so tasty so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and family inshallah and as always if you do make it you know what to do right do let me know how it went for you inshallah and i hope it goes well for you and you enjoy the taste and everything inshallah um till next time take care assalamu alaikum